let's see. What's going to show up best? It's probably this big fat guy. See the. I don't know. Like I don't. Know, is this going to show up? That's too small. Let me just see what that looks like. Oh, that's big enough. I might be able to get tired, uh, like a tighter shot, which would make it bigger. I probably need to stay on. Okay, yeah, yeah. You guys, you guys probably want him in there, right? Well, I mean, do you want me? I mean, I can sit with my back to the yeah. camera. No, I think it would not make it better. Right. <laughs> it's better to have you actually. <laughs> 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 like, how will you do it? <laughs> All right, let me know whenever you're ready. Okay, yeah, I mean, you right? can just, I, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> you're doing the work. All right, well, I can just draw it. All right. Um, yeah, so maybe. Well, I was thinking uh, maybe I'll try to draw a couple of different uh, expressions. Like, so first I have to draw Foam Bone's head, and then I have to decide what his expression is. Like, is he happy? If he's happy, you know, I just draw his eyes. And if happy, of course, I have to smile. And then. I usually give him little eyebrows that kind of indicate. So that's kind of like it's just as normal. But if he's, if phony bone has done something bad, then, he ha then he's going to frown. You know, his mouth can be down. That changes the expression. Or if he's really mad, he can actually growl. Try a couple different other faces. That's a surprise. So then his, his eyebrows have to be real big. And if you're real surprised, you throw sweat off into the space there. Let's see, what else? Any other ideas? Because that was a good idea. <coughs> All right, that's a good idea. Let me think a second. No, no, that's actually a good idea. Because that is exactly what I was talking about. All right, let's just draw two panels. These will be comic book panels. So if in this one,
So in this panel, we set foam bone up, and he's, he's in the air. He's obviously jumped in from somewhere. And we'll put... Uh, We'll put Phony in over here. Phony's always in a bad mood, so he's always scowling. So in the next the next panel, I have to have Phone Bone land on the ground because if he's j jumping in, you know he's got a hit. I gotta make his feet look like they're real, f hit the ground, they're real flat. So a certain amount of time has taken place between these two panels, and not much. It's the amount of time it would take for him to jump and land. Uh, we may as well finish a little, make him talk. I can't, when I, when I make up my comics, uh, I always try to like, you know, use my imagination and become the characters, and I try to hear him talking. So he says, hi, phony, and he says, what do you want? He says, just to jump around. And he says, you're an idiot. But see, some, something's taken place here. There's information in these two panels. This is probably too much for kids, but this is what I was talking about before. Um, you know how much time went by because you kn everybody knows how long it takes to get from this high up in the air to, to, the, to the ground. So you participate with me by making you know, something happen. You made, you made him land. And that happens in between any two given panels. So this is actually the magic of comics is this thing right here. Because without this, there'd be no movement. But as soon as you have any two panels together, it's sort of like the smallest building block of comics. It's like a sentence. You have to have at least two words to have a sentence, right? He ran. So that's, that's, how you, that's a sentence in comics. Okay, okay kitties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>